four strangers. One goal, to win a head-to-head -head competition for the chance at $100,000. One wrong answer could be their last. This is Russian Roulette. From Langdon, New Hampshire, executive recruiter, Marsha Maloney. From Augusta, Georgia, artist, Camille Bennett. From Oakland, California, associate athletic director, Cliff Docterman. From Tiburon, California, physical therapist, Susan Keller. And now, here's our host, Mark L. Wahlberg. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Russian Roulette. I can already see I have my hands full with the four of you, so that should be fun for all of us. As you know, a correct answer wins you money and keeps you in the game, but an incorrect answer means you give up all your winnings and you have to play Russian Roulette by pulling that lever you see in front of you. In this round, we start with one drop zone and we add a new drop zone with each new question, increasing your danger. Questions are worth $150. We've given you all that amount to start the game. Cliffy, you're our first challenger. Let's play the game. Here's the first question. What U.S. president empowered Elvis Presley with credentials and a badge as a federal narcotics officer? Cliff, you are the challenger. Which one of these three players do you want to challenge? I'm going with Camille because she's the only one on the stage that wasn't born when Elvis was alive, I don't think. All right, Cliff. Was the president Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, or Jimmy Carter? Well, I'm going to have to go Richard Nixon. Was it Richard Nixon? That's correct answer. That's correct answer, Camille. You're now the challenger. We add another drop zone. There are two. Here's the next question. According to the American Kennel Club, what breed of dog is the tallest? Who are you going to challenge? You know, I'm going to have to challenge Marsha. She's really sweet, but I'm not so sure she's up and up on her Westminster Kennel Club. Marsha? 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 <laughs> Is the tallest breed of dog the Irish Wolfhound, the St. Bernard, or the Greyhound? The Irish Wolfhound. Is it the Irish Wolfhound? That is correct. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? You got money. Marcia, I wouldn't be stomping around there. Oh, I know. I forgot. You've seen the show, yeah? Scary. It is a little scary, but so far you're doing well. You have $300. You're now the challenger. There are three drop zones. Here's the question. What suicidal novelist wrote the book that was made into the movie Leaving Las Vegas? Marcia, who are you going to challenge? I think I'm going to challenge Cliff because I don't really think he goes to the movies a lot. He seems more intellectual. <laughs> you hitting on him, Marcia? I mean, I could hook you up if there's a thing here. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Cliff, was the novelist Ben Sanderson, John O'Brien, or Raymond Carver? I'm going to have to say Raymond Carver. Is it Raymond Carver? That's an incorrect answer. The correct answer is John O'Brien. Cliff, you lose your money to Marsha, and you're the first to play Russian Roulette. There are three drop zones, Cliff. You have a 50-50 chance of leaving, 50-50 chance of staying. Let's unlock Cliff's zone. Let's play Russian Roulette. Give it a pull, Cliff. Oh, oh my God. Cliff is gone. Did you see him? Stay tuned to see who falls victim to the drop zone next. <laughs> Welcome back to Russian Roulette. We are back, but Cliff isn't. You know, he just had a look when he was going down that tickled me. <laughs> I miss Cliff already. Marsha? Marsha Maloney, executive recruiter from Langdon, New Hampshire, is that correct? I am originally from New Hampshire, yes. Uh, and you study genealogy, is that correct? That's one of my hobbies, so yes. So what do you know about your family? Do you come from a long line of game show contestants? Yeah, yes, that too. 
Uh, I also am a Mayflower Society member. You're a Mayflower Society, so somebody from your family came over on the Mayflower? Yes. Well, that must feel very good. Yes, it's fun. It's I heard they were all thieves and robbers that were on that boat. <laughs> Actually, my ancestor is the only one that has royal descent, so I can trace my ancestry back to Charlemagne. To Charlemagne? Yes. Cool. Well, we're glad to have royal blood on our stage. <laughs> Camille Bennett from Augusta, Georgia. And amongst the many things that you've uh, told us about yourself, I, I understand that you've been caught streaking. Well, well, Mark. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure that uh, that's exactly, you know, fit for cable TV. I think cable TV is the only place where it's fit. <laughs> I think half the fun of streaking is getting caught. Well, you could say that, but I don't think you could tell my dad that. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> streaking is a, it's a track event, sir. I tried to help Camille. <laughs> Susan Keller, physical therapist. Um, you work out daily. You are um, a very, very athletic person. You're also a surfer. Is that right, Susan? I just started. Um, for my birthday, I decided to teach myself something new, and I thought I'd go out and learn how to surf. Dude, is it a spiritual thing for you now? Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> right on. You know, like one with the waves and the dolphins cool. around you. Yeah. <laughs> Rock on, Susan. All right, good luck to all three of you. And by, might I say that it's not often this happens, but um, me and the three ladies, this is the way I like to play the game, personally. I've got a surfer, a queen, and a streaker in one show. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, let's go on to the next round. The questions are worth $200. They are more challenging than they were before. There are four possible answers now. As usual, and as always, we start with one drop zone. We add one more drop zone with each new question. Marsha, you have $450. Camille, you have $300. Susan, $150. Marsha, you're in the lead. You're the challenger. Let's play the game. Here's the first question. What glamorous woman appeared as the red Ferrari girl in the movie National Lampoon's Vacation? Marsha, who are you going to challenge? I will challenge Susan. All right, Susan. Was the red Ferrari girl played by Elle McPherson, Christy Brinkley, Cindy Crawford, or Suzanne Summers? I will say Christy Brinkley. Is it Christy Brinkley? Absolutely right. You pick up $200, and now you are the challenger. We add another drop zone. There are now two. Here's the next question. Garrison Keillor is the host of what public radio program? Susan, who are you going to challenge? March has 450. Camille has 300. I'm going to challenge Camille because I don't think a good Southern girl knows much about this. Okay. Is he the host of Along for the Ride? Prairie Home Companion, All Things Considered, or Rewind? I'm going to say Prairie Home Companion. Is it Prairie Home Companion? Correct answer. Now you're the challenger. We have three drop zones. Here's the next question. Premiering in 1986, what was the title of the last TV series starring Lucille Ball? Who are you going to challenge, Marsha or Susan? I'm going to challenge... Susan, because although she's a redhead like Lucille Ball, I don't think she quite has her fire. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little of that Southern Belle I seem to remember coming yeah. out right there. Good, good All right, Southern Susan, girl. was Lucy's last TV series called Here's Lucy, Life with Lucy, The Lucy Show, or I Still Love Lucy? I'm going to say Here's Lucy. Is it Here's Lucy? That's incorrect. It's life with Lucy. Camille, you take all of her money. Susan, you're now in the position of playing Russian roulette. Unlock Susan's zone. There are three drop zones. 50-50 chance. Anything mm -hmm. you'd like to say, Susan, before you ride the big wave? Uh, like Bugs Bunny, don't take life so seriously. You can't get out alive. <laughs> that just tickled you, didn't it, Susan? I loved it. Nobody else did, but I did. Yeah, well, I'm with you. For now, anyway. Let's play Russian roulette. Give it a pull, Susan. All right. The wipeout. Our surfer is gone. We're down to two players. Marsha has $450. Camille has $850. They will battle it out. One of them's going to drop. The other's going to have a chance at $100,000. Stay with us. Welcome back.
to Western Roulette. We started with four contestants. Two have dropped, two remain, and one of you two is going to drop. Camille has $850. You're in the lead. Marsha, you have $450. And you realize, Marsha, that this is not just like, you know, some sweet little game show. In a minute, one of you is going to fall through the floor. Are you comfortable with that, Marsh? No. Scary. It is a little bit scary. But you laugh in the face of danger, don't you, Marsha? <laughs> yes. Are you married? Yes. You are married. Yes. And is your husband fearless? Does he have any, any uh, concerns about you coming on this show? I think so, yes. He was afraid I'd meet you. Ah. <laughs> Be afraid. Be very afraid. Camille. So, uh, obviously, it was not good that I mentioned that you streaked earlier. I'm not so sure how well the dad's going to take that. Well, that's why I've reiterated it in case he missed the first exactly. segment. Exactly. And I, re I really appreciate it. Now, you're from Georgia, correct? I'm from Georgia. So I'm you're just Augusta. a sweet southern belle, aren't you? As sweet as they come. Sweet as they come. I'm a peach. Which means oh. you would kill her if I gave you a knife, wouldn't Pretty you? Pretty much. Right, right now. Push her through there, right. I understand. I've lived in the South for many years. My favorite thing that southern women do is compliment you by saying that they hate you. <laughs> Your hair's so pretty, I hate you. Well, you can say something kind of rude and then tag, well, bless, bless her heart, your heart right. right on then, and it makes the whole thing better. Well, you and know what, accessible. Camille? One of you two is going to drop, but bless your heart. <laughs> now, let's get back to the business at hand. Camille, you're in the lead. You are the challenger. And in this round, Marsha and Camille, strategy is absolutely everything. You live or die by the way you play this round, okay? As the challenger, you have the chance to either pass the question to Marsha or you can keep that question and risk it all by trying to answer it yourself. Questions in this round are worth $300. We start with one drop zone. Are you both ready? Yes. Okay, let's play the game. Here's the first question. What is the longest bone in the human body? Camille, if you want to answer this, you can. You risk all that you have, or you can challenge Marsha. Actually, on this, I'm going to say that Marsha's been baking too many cookies lately to really know that much about medicine and anatomy. So I'm going to throw this one her way. You want to put her on restriction, <laughs> don't you, Marsha? <laughs> Is the longest bone the tibia, ulna, femur, or vertebrae? I would say it's the vertebrae. Is it the vertebrae? That's incorrect. It is the femur. The femur is the thigh bone. It's Ugh. connected to the shin bone. Yeah. Marcia, you lose your money to Camille and you play Russian roulette with only one drop zone. All right? Unlock Marcia's zone. Don't look at me like that. It's just a job. You're making me feel bad. I must disconnect emotionally from you now. Let's play Russian roulette. Pull the handle. You're still here. I was too scared of that anyway. Well, it's still there, Marsh. Let's continue. Two drop zones now, but the good news is, although you have no money, you are now the challenger. Okay. All right, let's pay attention. Here's the next question. What is the name of the TV personality known as the science guy? Marsha, you can answer this yourself, or you can challenge Camille. What do you want to do? I don't think Camille's going to know this. She doesn't look like a science major to me. <laughs> Challenging Camille. Camille, is the science guy's name Louis Nye, Bill Nye, Bill Irwin, or Steve Irwin? Actually, that answer is Bill Nye, the science guy. Is it Bill Nye? I say yes. Yeah. Correct. You now have control you for that $300. $1,500 for you, Mark has no money. There are now three drop zones. Here's the next question. What English word comes from an ancient Greek term meaning to exercise naked? How appropriate. <laughs> you want to answer this, Camille, or are you going to challenge Marsha? Well, we talked earlier about the fact that I got caught streaking, and I don't think that's something Marsha would probably ever do. So I'm going to send this one her way. Chance to steal control back, Marsha, is the word aerobic, wrestle, gymnasium, or decathlon? Yes. 
Four seconds. Gymnasium. Is it gymnasium? That is correct. You got three hundred dollars. Now you are the challenger. There are four drop zones. Here's the question. Byron Della Beckwith was convicted in 1994 of murdering what civil rights leader 31 years earlier? Marcia, do you want to answer this or challenge Camille? Well, there's no way Camille's going to know this because she's so young. Camille won't know, so I'll challenge her. You've been challenged, Camille. Was he convicted of murdering Martin Luther King Jr., Roy Wilkins, Whitney M. Young Jr., or Medgar Evers? My answer is Medgar Evers. It is Medgar Evers? It is. That's correct answer. She was not born then, Marcia, but they had these wacky little books that put everything in it. <laughs> Go figure. Nineteen hundred dollars for you, Camille. You are now the challenger. There are now five drop zones. Here's the next question. In Louisiana, the areas most states refer to as counties go by what other term? Camille, do you want to answer this or challenge Marcia? I will answer this one. Are they called precincts, districts, parishes, or townships? Parish. Is it parishes? That is correct. $2,200 to Marcia, $300 Camille. You're still the challenger. That sound means time is up, and you know how this works, Marcia. $2,200 for Camille. Marcia, you only have $300. We take your money. It's time to drop, Marcia. I have to go? You gotta go. Uh. <laughs> Hey, Marcia. Camille, congratulations. You are our champion. I'm feeling just a tad guilty. I don't know why. I feel like I just dropped my mom. But anyway, $2,500 is your money to keep no matter what happens. You are our champion now. Camille is going to put her luck, her skill, her nerve to the ultimate test and possibly leave here with $100,000. Good luck. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Russian Roulette. We started with four. We are down to our champion, Camille. Congratulations. You've already won $2,500, and that's your money to keep. Ah, oh, thank you. You are welcome. Good for you, and you did it very well. But now, Camille, if you can answer five questions in 60 seconds or less, you're going to take home an additional $10,000. And at that point... You're going to have the chance to turn that $10,000 into $100,000 by betting it all on one final game of Russian Roulette. All right. Let's get down to business. Okay. Here's how it works, Camille. 60 seconds on the clock. A new drop zone opens every 10 seconds. Time runs out, or if you give an incorrect answer, you drop. Okay, gotcha. even if you don't answer all five questions, for every correct answer you do give us, we'll give you five hundred dollars. Great. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Unlock all six drop zones. Sixty second clock starts as soon as I begin reading the first question. Two things to remember, Camille. You can always pass if you're unsure of an answer, and we'll come back to it if time permits. And I must hear the phrase my answer is before you give me your answer. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Take a breath. Okay, here we go. Sixty seconds on the clock. Let's begin. World War I, Korean War, or Spanish-American War? Which one of these wars occurred in the 1800s? My answer is the Spanish-American War. That is correct. How many times does the third letter of the alphabet appear in the state name Connecticut? My answer is three. That's correct. All the letters in the phrase sworn hatred can be unscrambled to spell the name of what world-famous shock jock? My answer is Howard Stern. Correct. Name two of the six categories for which Nobel Prizes are awarded. Pass. True or false, there are 12 letters in the middle word of the government agency known as the CIA. Pass. Name two of the six categories for which Nobel Prizes are awarded. My answer is peace. Almost. 
Geese was correct. We needed one other. Ironically, physics would have worked for her. Unfortunately, physics worked against her. The uh, categories were physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, peace, she got correct, uh, literature or economic sciences or economics we would have uh, uh, accepted, and true or false, there are 12 letters in the middle word, intelligence is the middle word of CIA, and that would have been true. So she answered three correctly, she had $2,500, Camille drops out of here with a total of $4,000. Thanks for joining us, join us next time to welcome the Game of Chance, Russian Roulette, I'm Mark Wahlberg saying until we see you again, watch the set. I get it, Kennedy, you're pressing. You're always pressing buttons. Press it like I get it. New hosts, new shows. Whammy at 10, friend or foe at 10.30, and Russian roulette at 11.